All right, uh, in this video, I'm going to explain about one permutation question and another one is a combination question. Both questions actually asked by my uh, student, one of it from YouTube and one of it on my Facebook. Okay, so let's have a look on the first question. The first question actually says that um, a, a security code is chosen using the six of the following. You have ABC with a letter, a 235 with a number, and star and money symbol is a symbol none of the above may be used more than one find a number of different security codes that may be chosen if there's no restriction the first one actually is pretty simple because total here uh, plus the letter number and symbol total you should have eight different sign so you have eight different sign here i, I will use the word sign okay it means yeah means yeah you can say eight di different character or whatsoever anything is understand by you so now you basically you uh, your objective is to choose six so didn't give you any uh conditions so the first thing you have to measure is is this question arrangement matter or not okay because this is security code Se security code means the arrangement is very important well, okay why why do i say say that if you enter a sec security code, you should know A, B, C, and A, C, B shouldn't make the same, uh, they are totally different because security code, let's say you set your iPhone password at A, B, C, and your friend use your iPhone, they're trying to key in A, C, B, can they enter your iPhone? Cannot, right? So in this case, mean arrangement matter. Okay, if arrangement matter means what? Arrangement matter means you have to use MPR. When arrangement not so important, that mean does not matter, then then you, you, you can use NCR, which is combination. So this is permutation question. Whenever you see the word security code, mean arrangement is very important. So you have to use P for uh the full of for the whole question here. So it's very simple. I have eight different signs here. And then I will choose six because the question is choose six. And then I just use my calculator and then I can easily get my one mark. Okay, so you just do eight P six. Yeah, number will should be quite big. Twenty thousand hundred and sixty. Right, it's, it's very easy. Okay, the security code the security code and then we we'll start with the letter and finish with a symbol. So you have you will have six security code here. And then the question say must start with a letter and M is a symbol. Alright, so what I will do over here is I try to see how many letters do I have. I have one, two, and three. I have three letters over here. So since I have three letters here, so what I will do is, okay, I have three letters, I will choose one. I will use P because this is this is a uh, security code. And then I have two symbols, it's not mistaken. Yes, I have two symbols over here. I will choose one also. So this one basically is 2P1. Alright, after that, on the middle side over here so after after i choose one letter and one symbol you have to think how many have you left so i just randomly think i choose this one or or this one uh, sorry i cannot choose that one because that one is not letter okay let's say i choose this one i still have one two three four five six isn't it so and then i still have the four places here so i still left six i will choose four to insert into the four places here so so that uh total's six places is occupied and then I multiply them that's all all right so if they want letter you have to choose from your letter mean you have three letter there you choose one if they want symbol you have to choose from the symbol on the middle here here actually means what here actually mean you choose randomly okay so yeah I must get the idea lah. so so therefore this one should be three p1 which is one uh, which is three three p1 multiply 6p4 and then multiply 2p1 and then you should be able to get your correct answer okay so this is how to choose okay this part 3 will be slightly difficult okay so for the part 3 over here there are two symbols are next to each other in the security code uh, if you you check the mark marking scheme actually you have quite many ways you can actually uh, do this one but then I, I teach you some simple ways okay so so over here you actually you uh, have okay, two symbols need to stick together that's me i have two symbols here this symbol and this symbol they have to stick together and then they only want to choose the six security code that's mean if including two of these i only left how many places i can another four more places so what i will do is i will, 
I will draw the four more spaces here. And then these two symbols, I have to group them together because they say the two symbols are next to each other in the security code. And then I will assume these two symbols, I can... Okay, this is this one can be letter or number. Four of this one can... Okay, so four of this one I use for uh, letter and number because this is this is the logic. You must get the logic. So so that means two of this symbol I can put in all the boxes here, all the column here, all the bracket. <laughs> yeah, you can call it anything. So that means two of this symbol I can locate at any bracket here. All right. So okay, the lo the logics of doing this question is like this. Okay, because these two symbol here, I have five bracket for them to fill in. Okay, it's obviously we have to draw out all the possibility. If we have other possibility, I will continue drawing. But four letter mean maximum I have five bracket only. So that's mean I will write a five because five of this bracket, then I will write a five. All right, and then two of this symbol here, they can actually switch, place, uh, switch the places among themselves. Mean there can be money sign first, then only star. So that one means two way. Okay, mean you have two way to exchange it, or, or some student might like to call it 2p2 or some students actually like to call it 2 factorial both of all of this one actually uh, will, will give you a 2 2p2 two two means you have two symbols you um, arrange them uh, arrange among themselves means 2p2 two, 2, 2. 2 factorial means you have how many symbols you want to arrange it then you just like 5 symbols and 5 factorial but in this case I just make it easier I use 2 but if I do it myself, I prefer two factorial. I mean, next time you have three symbol, you use three factorial. You have five symbol, you you will use five factorial. All right. So, okay. Now we solve. We already solve all the symbol inside the bracket already. Okay. Now for the letter and number here. Okay. For the letter and number here. That mean just now we have how many letter and number above here? We have three letter and three number. So total will be six. So for the six number here. Because the question only pay attention at two symbols, mean the number and letter, not so important. So I can group them together. So at six, this six is the number and letter. I will only choose four, any of four, any of four. Because in here I can be, I I I can be two symbol. Uh, I can be two letter, two number, or three letter, one number. It doesn't matter, as long as you will choose four to fill in here, then I will just calculate using my calculator. Then I I will get my answer. I hope you can get this idea. Actually, it's quite simple to understand. Times 2 times 6 P 4. So you will get 3, 6, 0, 0. Okay, you just make, uh, just try to make you, yourself to understand. Uh. So when I say you can put in a, any of the bracket means what? Let's say, let's say, let's say I choose here. So what happened? So here, then I can be this symbol, money sign, and then four more letter and number. For more letter and number, of course I can fill in any letter and number above la. like A, B, C, I can like this one can be A, this one can be B, this one can be C and then and then and then I have number 2, 3, 5 I can choose 3 and 5 okay, or oh, I fill in this place but I can actually change the sign and then this one I can put B here, A here I can put 2, 3, 5 here it doesn't matter. So when I say I choose this bracket, mean I will actually insert this symbol into this bracket to to make it into the sixth security code. Okay, so I hope you can actually get the idea. Uh, and then I guess I actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I actually have one more. Total should be six only. Yeah, because here I have four places. Uh, one, two, three, four plus two, six. Yeah. So yeah, I hope you can understand about this question because this kind of question is uh, very common, no matter in SBM or in uh, IGCSE exam. All right, so let's have a look on the next question. So in these questions, uh, a student have the collections of nine CDs, which four are by the, the bitter, three are by the ABBA, and two are by the Rolling Stone. So she selected four only here, the only selected four of the CD from her uh, collection. Calculate the number of ways in which she can make her selection if her selection must contain her favorite bitter CD. CD. So you, so sh she need to select four CD over here. Uh, okay, I do not know. Uh, is a she. So the among the four CD here must has the bitter CD. So I will assume the one of the bitter CD is over here. 
So now we have four bitters ED, three ABBA, and two from Ro Rolling Stone. Or I write R, R should be enough. So that means if I select one from the bitter here, I, I select one bitter, I still left three bitter here, isn't it? So another three places, I can, I can pick any, I, I can pick any of here, isn't it? So that means I have three, three, two, I total I still have eight more CD to fulfill into the three places. And you can realize in this case, I will use C because arrangement in this case is not important. What do I, uh, why do I say so? You try to imagine if the bitter CD I put in the third seat, does it make any sense? Um, I, I mean, does it make any difference? Because no matter which place actually I put my bitter CD, I still have one bitter CD in the collection. So that mean in this case, this kind of case, even I put the bitter CD last place, and then the first three CD I put here, it doesn't make any any difference. So in this case, mean arrangement does not matter, and you can you can find out this one by seeing the word selection, but not hundred percent. But most of the time, when you see the word selection, is using C, and I even teach my student is something like this in. 80% or 90% of example, if you can't differentiate P or C, when you see number, letter, or something to do with code, you just go for the P. And then the other thing means you, you can see CD, you can see human, you can see student, you can see any event, mean the rest, you, you, then you use a C. So normally this one is for object, and then this one can be can for student, uh, object including CD, it can be house, it can be ball, yeah, and then yeah, they want to select student to join a competition, yeah, all this you, you see, yeah, this this is why uh, this is what I can try to help my student because a lot of my students can't differentiate. Uh, what do I mean like arra arrangement important or arrangement doesn't matter? Okay, so if you can differentiate, you just analyze by yourself. Okay, so in this case, just now I just say you have x, so you still have eight more. You will choose three, and then this one. Bitter is just one because it's just one way. Okay, so yeah, I just like specifically put one bitter into it already because some student might ask, why can't I just like randomly, uh, eight a uh, nine CD total? I have nine CD. I choose four into here. Okay, you choose four. This might have the possibility you will you will miss out the bitter because here already have five, Abba and the. Uh, the Rolling Stone. So I can be A, 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 R. So if I do like this, you can find out the whole question over here do not have the bitter CD, which doesn't fulfill the first condition because it says her selection must contain the flavored bitter CD. So in order to make sure he must contain, so I purposely put one of the bitter CD in, in, uh, inside the four, four of this CD. So when I randomly A CD here, I choose three, I can be four also be bitter CD, it doesn't matter because it says must contain bitter CD or it can be A A R R or can be A R. Yeah, it can mix any of it. Okay, so this is the idea. But very important thing here I want to mention to you is when you choose one bitter CD to put into here already, you make sure you minus one here. Mean you only left three. Okay, this is something uh, very important uh, idea. Okay, let's have a look on the second part. Her selection must contain two CD by one group and two CD by another group. So now Actually, uh, she wants to separate them into a group. So let me just erase this one. So I hope you understand this one. So erase, if you want to see it, you can just like uh, reverse the video. Okay. So now, so total you have four CD. So we want to work out how many combination we have because it must be same group. So two CD from one group. So I can be bitter, bitter, and then this one is ABBA, ABBA, or I can be bitter, bitter, and then Rolling Stone, Rolling Stone, or I can be ABBA, ABBA, Rolling Stone, Rolling Stone. I guess that's all. We shouldn't have more than here, I hope. Yeah, ABBA and bitter, bitter and Rolling Stone. Um, yeah, sh should be all like this. Okay, so then you will try to select from here. Okay, for, for the first one, bitter, Okay, now you no need to separate this one. You just imagine total you have four bitter here. So I have I have four bitter here. I choose two. Multiply because same case we will use multiply. And then I have three abba here. I choose two. You see? 
choose two only two ABBA because two of each album okay so we'll do the same thing I have four bitter here total B, B is four here I need two so I choose two R total have two here I choose two so ABBA three I choose two because three ABBA I choose two R is just two C two all right and then after you choose already you know you have to sum up all your answer so I will just sum them up because this is all the combination I can have so yeah this one should be 18 okay this one should be 6 and then this one should be 3 and then plus them together the total of selecting should be this is for part 2 27 yeah just plus them together okay this is how to do this kind of question and this is one of the past year question the, just now the question is the past year question as well I I think this is one of the past year question uh, yeah this one should be the 2000 2015 one I, I I'm not sure anyways I guess both of this is a password question because I I do I do that so many time already anyways I hope this uh, short video can help you understand uh, how to do this, this kind of question and the the most important thing is you have to able to differentiate what is permutation and what is combination because as long as the P and C you use wrong in the example you will get a whole you'll get the whole question wrong. So it's so important, you're trying to understand what does it mean by uh, arrangement important and what does it mean by uh, arrangement not so important. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching. So if you have more questions, please share to me either on my YouTube or in my Facebook. If you can't find my Facebook, you just search Y equals to MX plus C in your Facebook page. Okay, anyways, thanks for watching.